happy Friday. Um, I'm outside on my rooftop right now. Just to let you guys see what I'm looking at. It's beautiful. Anyway, um, more importantly, I'd like to talk to you all about something that I've been struggling with a lot recently. And that is finding myself worthy of the Lord's calling, okay? So maybe you've been called to do something and only you know what that is. And I'm sure you have been called to do something. All of us are called to do something for the kingdom of God. You know, my entire life, I was struggling to figure out my purpose and I was always freaking out about that. But more recently, I realized our entire purpose here is to serve God. So once we get that straight, we can begin to look at our own gifts, our own backgrounds, our own experiences, our own struggles. That's a big area that you can use to serve God. It's to figure out what you overcame in your life and how, and how you can use that those things that you learned to serve the kingdom of God. And the thing that's important to realize is that the enemy is going to try and keep you from serving God. Ultimately, no matter what you do, he's going to try and he's going to try and stop you before you even get anywhere close to that point. Right? He'll try and destroy you from the very beginning of your life and turn you into a slave for the kingdom of darkness. But if he doesn't succeed in doing that. He, will, he won't stop short. He will try to do anything to stop you from serving God, okay? So one big thing that the enemy might do is try and convince you that you're not worthy, that you don't have anything to offer God. And I just want to tell you, you do, and you are worthy. No matter what the enemy or the world tries to convince you of, no matter what kinds of insecurities they try and use against you, you have value. You are so valuable. Don't become blind in the physical realm okay so if you haven't already figured out a way to serve God or haven't begun to make that a part of your daily life of your goals of your entire purpose here consider doing so I can guarantee you there is no other reason why you're here you know if you look at the world if you look at society they will try to convince you to live for the world you can't you can't look up answers to that in anything besides the Bible or people that are already a followers of Jesus Christ. Um, but don't listen to them because that's not true, right? Faith allows us to see what the eyes cannot. So have faith in God's word. That's all that matters. Um, and all that matters is his kingdom. All that matters is Jesus, okay? Yes. And so if you haven't figured out a way to serve the kingdom of God, I want you to begin to, to do this today. You could, one small way that you can serve Jesus is to wear Jesus' clothing or apparel. Um, let me show you guys. So I've got a button that says Jesus changes everything. It's probably going to be inverted. Um, yeah, and that's just a small thing to do. It's kind of like a gospel pamphlet in a sense that it can speak where you might not feel comfortable speaking about Jesus yet, okay? Another thing, gospel pamphlets. Those are a way, or gospel uh, tracts, I believe that's what they're called. And you can hand those out to people, right? That's a good way to share information about Jesus. You can share your testimony. That's a big thing. Revelations 12, 11 talks about sharing our testimony and overcoming by the blood of the Lamb in the words of our testimony. And I've heard a lot of people say that people will be more likely to listen to your testimony sometimes than they will the gospel. So that's a big thing to share. How Jesus changed your life. Finally, you can use your social media platform. Use every single thing you have at your availability. And social media is a big thing. You can create posts, you can share posts, you can make videos, you can make a YouTube channel, you can make a TikTok, maybe you already have one. Maybe you just need to feel more comfortable sharing the word of God and just stepping out on the ledge and doing it because you know what? You are amazing and you have value and your voice should be heard. Even if you think other people are saying the same thing, there's a good reason that they're saying it and you should be saying it too because your individual story, your individual way of speaking will speak to someone else in a way that is surprising to you and matters. People are waiting on you to be delivered, to be saved, to be pulled out of the pit, to be encouraged, to be spoken to in a way that they can actually hear you, okay? So, yes. Today is Friday, December 9th, and I think it would be great if you could make this a goal to start before Christmas. 
you know, it'd be great if you could start today and you can start today. There is no time like the present. We really don't know how long we have. So yes, be encouraged, be motivated, go with God. God is leading you to who you need to help. And that's all this is all about, right? Serving God and serving each other with the power of love. Anyway, thank you all so much for listening. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. I know that you will, even when the devil is challenging you. Just remember that means you're on the right track, okay? Love you all. Thanks so much. God bless you. Bye.